Hi, I'm David and uh, welcome to today's reflection. Um, thanks for joining. Um, today is uh, St. David's Day and I think uh, maybe that's why Steve asked me to do today. So that's why I just uh, put in a few shots of some daffodils. And um, that got me thinking uh, about what I could share with you. And uh, our house group has been reading through Matthew at the moment. and. Um, the past few weeks we've been looking at the Beatitudes and the Sermon on the Mount and um, often uh, Jesus upsets the expectations of the world and um, particularly in terms of uh, worrying and where um, our hope is and um, so yeah I wanted to share today from uh, Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, Will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So I think the, the passage here is saying, I mean, look, look outside, look at the birds, look at the flowers. If God is providing for those and, um, yeah, he says, you know, look how beautiful the flowers of the field are. And, and God, God has made that and God has, um, you know, watched that grow. How much more is he going to be watching over us and taking care of us and, and providing for us? And I think, yeah, there's, there's so much we can worry about, um, whether it's uh, work or uh, family and relationships. And, um, yeah, just uh, the, the stresses of life. Um, but here it says very clearly, we you know we don't need to worry, um, because God is is going to provide for us. And in verse thirty three, uh, it kind of it outlines what we need to do. It says, "But seek first His kingdom, and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well." So I think this is a real um, reminder to us that 
we we need to put things in perspective. We shouldn't be worrying uh, about worldly things. We should be uh, thinking about how how are we seeking God's kingdom and His righteousness. How are we serving God and uh, living the life that, that God wants us to live above everything else? Let us pray. Yeah, Father, thank you for this time that we can join together and um, yeah, come to come to you in prayer. And um, I pray that um, yeah, even this difficult time of um, pandemic and lockdown, Lord, that our hope and our, our faith would be in you, and that um, yeah, we would listen to you. And when you say, do not worry, um, because you, you are caring for us, Lord. And, yeah, throughout this time, um, it's been a time where we can, um, yeah, we've been forced to um, have more time to ourselves and uh, been uh, restricted in what we can do and with many of the things. Um, that we usually do, Lord, and and I pray that um, you would help us see what you want us to do, um, and that we will be seeking your kingdom and your glory above all else, Lord. And I pray that as um, yeah, we thank you for for the continued rollout of the vaccinations and the the plan the government has in place for gradually ending lockdown and um, yeah I, I pray that you would be guiding us in how we can um, better serve you and um, the ways in which we can um, put your kingdom first as uh, life slowly starts to get back to normal Lord so I pray that you'd be yeah putting those things on our hearts that um, yeah, the area, the areas of our lives where we can better serve you, Lord, and better seek your kingdom and your righteousness. In your name, Amen.